We're following breaking news this morning. Two NYU students were killed while on vacation in Puerto Rico. The police there say a suspect has been arrested and the victims were not the intended targets. Good day, Wake Up Anchor Dan Bowens joins us now with more details on the stand sad day for, for their families. Yeah, Bianca and Rosanna, we're just getting new information in this morning. According to multiple reports in Puerto Rico, a woman has been taken into custody in connection with this shooting. Details surrounding the incident are still emerging, but authorities have released a video of a woman who was allegedly involved in the shooting. Take a look. That video, which has been widely circulated, shows the suspect, and you hear what sounds like a gunshot. Local police say this all started on Saturday night as a dispute between the suspect and others and then escalated. Sources saying the woman began firing a pistol on the sidewalk and people who were inside a business started to return fire. Those two NYU students who were just innocent bystanders were caught in the crossfire. Franco Medina and Sergio Polomino Ruiz were both 28 years old and have been identified as the victims. They'd been celebrating a friend's birthday just outside that nightclub. Both men were pursuing their master's degree at the Stern School of Business at NYU. The university describing them as, quote, beloved members of their community. In response to the tragedy, a GoFundMe page has been set up to support their families. The fundraising was started by classmates from the business school and already raised more than $40,000 with the goal of raising at least $80,000. One person who contributed, writing, words cannot express how much they will be missed. And more on this investigation, we have a new update. According to Vocero, which is a local newspaper in Puerto Rico, the woman in custody actually turned herself in. It's unclear exactly what charges she might face. That news could be coming in the next few minutes. She had her attorney with her and is apparently cooperating with authorities this morning. That suspect is also expected to appear in court very soon. The latest when we get it. Bianca and Rosanna, back to you. A heartbreaking story. Dan, thank you for bringing us the update.